Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Please read the question on the slide. Express 4 to the power of minus 3 as a power with the base 2. That is we have to express 4 to the power of minus 3 in such a way that base becomes 2. So first thing that we can do is we can write 4 as 2 into 2 that is same as 2 square. On substituting in our quotient we get 2 square whole power minus 3. Now we can use the property a power m whole power n the same as a power m multiplied by n. On using this property we will get 2 to the power 2 multiplied by minus 3 which is equal to 2 to the power of minus 6. Please read the question on the slide. Simplify and write the answer in exponent form for 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 8 whole power 5 multiply by 2 to the power of minus 5. Let us rewrite this as 2 to the power of 5 whole divided by 2 power 8 whole power 5 multiply by 1 by 2 to the power of 5. Then on applying the property, we will get 2 power 5 minus 8 whole power 5 multiply by, let's take it as 2 power minus 5 only, which will be equal to 2 to the power of minus 3 whole power 5 multiply by 2 to the power of minus 5. Again applying the property we will get 2 to the power of minus 15 multiply by 2 to the power of minus 5 and this will give us 2 to the power of minus 15 plus minus 5 which is equal to 2 to the power of minus 20 or which is same as 1 by 2 to the power of 20. Let us start with the second part of example number 4. We can clearly see that bases are different while the powers or the exponents are same. So we can apply the property a power m multiplied by b power m is equal to a into b whole power m. We can apply this property on the whole question together or let us start by applying it on two terms at one time. So we get minus 4 multiplied by 5 whole power minus 3 multiplied by minus 5 whole power minus 3. This gives us minus 20 whole power minus 3 multiply by minus 5 whole power minus 3 again applying the same property we will get minus 20 multiply by minus 5 whole power minus 3 which is same as 100 whole power minus 3 and now using the property that a power minus m is equal to 1 by a power m this comes out to be 1 by 1000, sorry, 1 by 100 whole power 3. Let us start with the third part of the question. We are give, given 1 by 8 multiply by 3 whole power minus 3. We know that 8 can be written as 2 cube. Let us substitute. We get 1 by 2 cube multiply by 3 whole power minus 3 which can be further written as 2 power minus 3 multiply by 3 power minus 3 using the property 1 by a power m is equal to a power minus m. 
this can be written as 2 into 3 whole power minus 3 using the property a power m multiplied by b power m is equal to a into b whole power m. So this comes out to be 6 power minus 3 which is equal to 1 by 6 cube. Let us start with fourth part. We have minus 3 whole power 4 multiplied by 5 by 3 whole power 4. Clearly the bases are different and the powers are same. So we can apply a power m multiplied by b power m is equal to a into b whole power m. This will give us minus 3 multiplied by 5 by 3 whole power 4. On further solving, we get minus 5 whole power 4, which can also be written as minus 1 into 5 whole power 4, which is same as minus 1 whole power 4 multiplied by 5 whole power 4. And the answer comes out to be 5 whole power 4, since minus 1 whole power 4 is equal to 1.